Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful Monday morning today. What's happening there? Oh, Lord. I'm stuck in traffic. Uh, I'm on my way to the hospital with Grace. But first, I gotta take Caleb to school. We are late for school, which I don't like. But this morning, there were so many things happening. So I'm taking him to school now. And then from there, I will take Gracie to the hospital. She is going for physiotherapy. Guys, if you're new here today, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help, help us grow this channel. Help us grow the community. And like, share, subscribe. Gracie has been trying a new walker. And she's been doing so nice. I'm going to insert some clips in this video. She had the walker for Let's a go. few weeks, but she got I sick and she was that. not able to use it, which was a bummer, but she is running, she is walking, she is, oh my goodness, this child is doing so good. I am so proud of Gracie and I am so grateful to God for where he has taken Gracie from to where Gracie is today. They will be ordering her walker for her and hopefully she will get it soon. I don't think that she will get it this month because we're already in december and the paperwork has not even gone in yet so maybe by january i'm hoping by january i will get it i'm hoping that it will not go as far as february she's also taking steps on her own which is awesome so right now we are off to the hospital i've dropped off kayla and we are going to the hospital right now there is a lot of traffic, a lot of things happening on the road. Right now, there is a fire truck blocking the the road. There was an accident in the road. Oh, guys, it's so painful. Traffic is so bad. It's really painful this morning. But nonetheless, I have to go. I don't have a choice. I have to go. I'm hoping Gracie will get a therapy this morning. Uh, we had another appointment which has been canceled and a social worker is trying to reach me but i just can't take the call right now another thing that is happening in gracie's life is that we will be sending gracie to school gracie is showing signs that she's ready to go to school and things are looking better right now with everything that happened in the past two years so right now we are looking to send gracie to school we have i have filled out the application i have sent the application in i have sent all the necessary paperwork in i am waiting to get a call from the school so that we can have a meeting and then they will decide where gracie will be going to school and hopefully she gets into the school that i would like for her to go to um, I'm not sure yet, but we are waiting. Gracie is really, really doing well. She has improved a lot. Gracie is able to sit up now. She was doing that before and she had regressed. But right now she's starting to sit up again on her own. She can sit up, she can stay sitting, she can play. She doesn't have to put her hand down to balance herself. She can sit on her own. She's taking a few steps like yesterday. She, Saturday she was in her walker and well the borrowed walker and she I, I I opened it up and Caleb was sitting in front of her and she was taking a few steps towards Caleb there was a time she took four steps four steps you guys that's amazing some people would say well that's nothing but to me that's a big deal because four steps <laughs> praise the Lord thank you Jesus so i am really really happy i am so grateful and i'm seeing so many things that gracie is doing right now which is awesome um a few weeks ago she stood for a few seconds all on her own without any support she stood up but the first time i did that when i saw that i was so excited you guys i started to scream i started to jump and i scared the poor child so <laughs> I scared her, <laughs> y'all. When you're waiting for something and you see that thing is finally happening, oh my goodness, you you just get so excited. So I screamed. She just dropped herself, but she's been doing it. But at that time, that was the longest she has stood stood for. So I am happy, and we are still practicing. She is practicing to climb up and down stairs. 
which is awesome she's really afraid to go down the stairs but in time man in time she'll be able to do that and we'll be good we'll be good by god's grace she will walk by the grace of god i do believe that and i can't wait for the day that my daughter will be able to walk for us to hold hands and to walk i can't wait for the day that grace and i will be having conversations we will be going out shopping i want to buy her purses i want to buy her so many things i want to do mommy and daughter things with this child mm -hmm. so much good job next one two more to go mama god is good by his grace all these things will be possible tell me do you guys pray that the light will not get red before you get there that you will have time pass before the red light turn before the light turns red comment in the section below you guys as a caretaker and a mom we have so much on our plate it gets overwhelming sometimes it gets heavy sometimes but we just continue pushing and we just do what we gotta do and we do it happily we don't have a sick day <laughs> we don't have a time to start and a time to finish we just keep on working and that's just our life but i thank god for health i thank god for sanity thank god for what he has blessed us with for us to be able to do what we have to do as parents and as caregivers i never imagined that i would have a child with special needs and now that i am a parent of a child with special needs i really understand what some parents go through and i'm telling you it is a lot it takes a toll on you physically mentally and emotionally it does take a toll on you spiritually and to be honest with you my spiritual belief my faith is what's keeping me going my faith is what's holding me together and i thank god for that especially when grace was in hospital and i had to fight so hard for her i had to advocate so much for her just for her to get the basic care that she needed to survive it was a, it was a battle there were strongholds i'm not going to pretend there were strongholds but you know what god came through for us he strengthened me he gave me wisdom he gave me understanding he gave me discernment and i am so grateful to god for all of that right and i don't take this for granted not one little bit right i do not take this for granted and i am grateful to god and to see my my, my little girl thriving today you know to see her doing the things that was told to us that she would not be able to do you know i am i am grateful i am very grateful to hear that she would never be able to live without breathing support and to see my daughter y'all breathing on her own her taking steps y'all when i get so excited about my daughter taking four steps you gotta understand where she came from to see her taking steps four steps and she was so happy to do that y'all that's a blessing that's a huge blessing to see her eating early i am grateful and i am very humbled and i am just gonna encourage you today you know you probably not where we are today you probably you are probably much further than we are and i'm just saying continue continue pushing through continue loving your your child or children whoever you have in your life continue loving that person and supporting that person and doing everything that you can for that person yes it gets hard at times yes it gets overwhelming at times but you know what you can do it by the grace of god god has chosen you to do that so you are the perfect person sometimes you ask why me you know why did god choose me i am not able i am not equipped to do this but yes you are he has given you the ability he has equipped you with all that you need depend on him call on him you know this is what i do there are days you want to cry cry when you need to cry i cry when i need to cry don't think it's all nice and rosy for me no there are days i'm down there are days i cry and i've been struggling with my 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 trauma my childhood trauma y'all it's not easy it's not and these are some of the reasons that 
I was not able to upload um, um, videos for a while because I was dealing with those traumas and more was just piling up on top of all of this. And I thank God today I'm at a better place. You know, maybe one day I will tell you guys about my trauma. You know, I just, I am still dealing with it. I am still healing and the healing is coming, but it's not easy. And that is why I will not let nobody do anything to my child. Oh Lord, please love your children. Take care of your children. Be there for them. When they tell you something has happened to them, do not dismiss them and say, no, it didn't happen. Investigate you all, support your child. Because your child needs that support. Your child needs the support. Let them remember my mom was there, my dad was there, my auntie was there. Because if I had that, if I had that, I don't think that I would be where I am today. I think that I would have been in a better place today. We're at the hospital, you guys, and I'm going somewhere. Oh, thank God, y'all, there is parking. Oh my gosh, there is parking, you guys. Ha! I get an accessible parking this morning, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. I'm using my key to do that because I don't like touching this button. So many people touch these things. Sorry, Gracie, I'm gonna close it for you. I'm gonna go all the way to the end there. So many people touch this thing and I have to be constantly touching Gracie's face. So, yeah, I don't like touching this. I get a parking, praise the Lord. <laughs> Big score for me this morning. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Yay! The things we get so excited about, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. When we get to parking like this, oh, this is gold. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my God, I'm so loud. Sorry, guys. Now, I am... <laughs> I'm early you guys I am early what I'm gonna do oh gosh I really thought I was gonna be late I have 20 minutes I'm 20 minutes early so what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna feed Gracie and then we're gonna go up yes I'm gonna feed Gracie right now <laughs> let me go get her oh, gosh. it is cold mama it is freezing this morning oops ah. yeah you guys it's very cold this morning well this is canada <laughs> you hungry huh? you looking for your food are you guys seeing that <laughs> you looking for your food yes i'm still using beep for gracie and that's all right this is where we at and this is it right brother Got your spoon. Let's pray, Father. Thank you for this food. Pray that you bless it. Help it to bring in and nourish into Gracie's body. Thank you so much for providing. Just in my prayer, man. She find I'm taking too long. <laughs> you gotta wait, Mama. You gotta be patient, right? Here you go. Mmm, yummy. We are blessed and we are highly favored. Yes, Gracie girl. Mm-hmm. Did you hear that? She said, mm-hmm. Yes, Bobby. I feel like I'm feeding you too fast. I feel like I'm feeding her too fast. <laughs> I'm going to slow down. But yeah, this is our life. Sometimes, you know what, guys? I'm just going to talk to you guys about this. It is very important that we take care of ourselves as well. Because if we're not taking care of ourselves, how are we able to take care of these kids? You know, I have been pushing and pushing and pushing and I was just feeling so guilty even thinking beautiful even thinking of doing something for myself i used to feel so guilty i felt like i was an awful person just thinking that i needed to do something for myself but i kept pushing myself and i kept pushing myself to where i ended up you know my body could not go anymore i was having so much not was i'm still having so much pain 
right? I'm having pain in my joints, my shoulders, my knees. You know, when I have to bend, my knees are hurting me and so much stress. I'm making a mess here. And so much stress, you know? And it has taken a toll on my body, y'all. I'm not lying to tell you. I'm not going to pretend with you guys. I'm going to come clean. It has taken a toll on my body. Yeah, I just threw some on me. I was cleaning it. Stop complaining. <laughs> See? Taking too long to feed her. There I thought I was feeding her too fast. But it, it, it has taken a toll on my body, you guys. This video might be a bit long today. And... It is, it is, it is, it is something, y'all. And our mental health is very, very important. You know, I know that there are a lot of stigma when it, there, there's a lot of stigma when it comes to um, mental health. But there is nothing to be ashamed of. Because you are going 24-7. Whilst you're in bed, your mind is still going on what you have to do the next day. What happened today, your mind is still trying to process what happened. I like to lock myself in my car. And it takes a toll on you. It does. When all of these things you have to do, especially if you are, I won't say just moms because there are dads going through it as well. You know, when you are going through it and one person has to work. <clears throat> one is working, one is home taking care of the children or the child. Some of us, we have more than one child. Some have just the one child. And it does take a toll on you. Like this morning, I was waking up my son to go to school and he was just not waking up. He wanted to sleep some more. And I'm like, you are you are going to be late for school. You gotta get up. And he was just giving me a hard time to get out of bed. <clears throat> but eventually he did. And we went to school and of course he was late. So me as a mom, stressing, trying my best to get him to school at at, at, at the right time, you know, that didn't happen. And then I'm like, okay, you were late, then Grace is going to be late for her appointment. And I don't like to be late for Grace's appointments. First of all, they probably will label you as neglectful, you know, and I don't want that. I know I am not that. And again, you have to think of all the, the traffic you're going to encounter, especially with construction on the road. You're thinking all of all of that. Y'all, it takes a lot on, on you mentally, physically, emotionally. This is hard. You need to have people in your corner. Sometimes we don't want to talk to people about what is happening to us, what is going on. And we are doing ourselves a disservice because we are keeping it and we are keeping it and it keeps piling up. Imagine you put in pressure in a bottle and you keep putting and you keep putting and you keep putting. Eventually, that that bottle is going to, to, to explode. We need to talk to somebody. We need to take some time out to go out, have a coffee. Those who drink coffee, go out, have a coffee with a friend. Have a conversation with somebody on the phone. When your husband is home or, or your partner is home, you understand? You guys can go for a walk. Or if you want some time all to yourself, Go outside, take a walk. I am telling you this because I used to be like this and it hasn't been that long. It's last week. I started saying, you know what? I got to do this for myself because I was feeling the pressure. I am feeling the toll that this is taking on my body. <laughs> Gracie, mommy, almost spill your food. I am feeling the toll that this is taking on my body. And... I am here today encouraging you to take some time to yourself. Take some time to do something for you. You are not selfish. Your family will understand. They are so used to having you around. It probably will be different for them when you are not there. And that's okay. Go for a, a massage. Go do your nails. Go do your nails. When you look good, you feel good. Go do your nails. Do like me now. Do you realize I'm wearing makeup now? Yes. When you look good on the outside, you will feel good on the inside. And I do feel good because I look good. 
Wow, my self-esteem is really going up. Yay, see? Take care of yourself, okay? When I'm at home and I don't have to take Gracie to therapy, what I do is, because if I don't do that, I will not be able to do it, not until somebody gets home. I have to, when, when I wake up in the morning, we wake up at six o'clock to worship. When I am done worshiping, whilst my husband is getting ready to go to, to work, I will head to the shower. I will go take a shower. And these simple things, these simple things, not a privilege. I have to get up early, go take a shower. And when I'm done, lotion myself. And I go back and lie down in bed with grace. You understand? I want to go on my treadmill. I have my treadmill and I can't do it. With grace, there's another thing going on with grace. I have to sit with grace. I have to sit with Gracie all day, every day when we're at home. Sit with her. Why? Because Gracie, Gracie has a habit now. She's hitting her head. She hits her head a lot. Before it used to be just slapping her, herself gently. But now she's hitting herself with a fist. And I don't want her to do that. I don't want her to get hurt. I want Grace to be safe. And she is also hitting her head on the wall for whatever reason. Somebody told me it's stemming and all of that. But I don't know and I want to take care of her. Now, since she's been diagnosed with autism, I I am able to get more for Gracie. Um, I just recently got her number, which took forever to get that. Without that number, it's not much you can access. I recently got the number. I think that I still have to wait for me to add her. And I'm still waiting for an invitation. That's what I was told. I don't know. Um, but now we are trying to get services for her. Right now we are trying to get some rapid response therapy for Grace. And it should start soon. She will be getting, among other things, she will be getting behavioral therapy. Um, Gracie gets frustrated. And then she hits herself. I think the, the thing is... Gracie is trying to express herself. She's trying to communicate. But we're not quite there yet. And I think that she's getting frustrated with that. And out of the frustration, I think she's probably hitting herself. Um, I think there are other reasons that she's probably hitting herself too. She, You can see with her facial expression that she does get frustrated with a lot of things. So, hopefully, with the therapy that she will be getting, we will be able to correct that and find ways for her to communicate more efficiently. So, this is where we're at. Also, with the head heating and the head banging, they have given Gracie a, a helmet. Y'all, that helmet costs so much money. <laughs> and it is not covered. A simple soft helmet cost us $354.24, y'all. What time is it? I gotta go inside. It cost us $354.24. Yes, I'm adding the cents because I had to pay the cents. That cost us so much money. And I had to pay that out of pocket. I'm still trying to see if I can get funding to reimburse me this money. The cost of parking here is ten dollars so i have to have ten dollars each time i come here to pay for parking i am not complaining about this parking at all because this is the cheapest parking when i go to another hospital i pay twenty dollars for parking there's another hospital i have to take gracie to i have to pay twenty four dollars for parking so this parking right here at rehab thank you jesus ten dollars i'm grateful